So what is up you guys? A lot of people are asking for an update for me and Jack or more specifically just Jack. So here we are. Uh, he just had lunch a little while ago. As did I. Looks like he still want get your head out of my he may still be hungry. But here we are just chilling. Um, still the same. He hasn't changed much. I was trying to get a nice cuddle session in. But as soon as I started talking, he went straight for the mouth. Get, get your grimy little paws out of my mouth. Check, look at the camera. Say hi. So this is him when he's a little bit calmer. Um, inside the blanket. As you can see, he is going through some visible changes. So when they're younger, their entire head is like that light brown color. But then as they get older, they get that little white patch on the forehead. And then um, it starts to turn like a dark brown. And soon he will be black. And I will no longer want. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> As far as care goes, guys, still the same for the most part, diet-wise. Some fruits and veggies, some nuts, oats, um, sometimes pasta and rice. And then I give him these little, they're like, I think they're from Gerber. It's like banana mush and different fruits and stuff like that. Um, still shits everywhere, so that's cool. Kind of gotten used to it though. He picks a couple spots that he likes the best, so it's not that that hard to clean up. And he still gets free reign of the entire apartment, even when I'm gone, which was a bad habit to instill in him. But we're a little bit past that now. Stop biting my ear. Also, he still bites a lot. Right now he's like, he was literally like licking my teeth a second ago. I feel like I'm at the dentist. Can you let go? Can you go? Can you let go of my lip, please? Stop holding on to it. Thank you. Yeah, they're pretty destructive. Um, in terms of like time and attention, um, it's not that bad. He stays out most of the time, so it's not like I have to give him like extra attention when he's out, but, um, he kind of just does his own thing most of the time. Um, and then I'll play with him. He mostly likes to just like destroy things, honestly. Um, like that, my backpack over there. Chews it all the time. He put this big thing in the couch right there. Um, downstairs, the furniture is actually, um, it came with the apartment. It was like a hundred extra a month for furnished downstairs. And he's like destroyed one of the chairs. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna have to come out of my pocket. Um, same thing with like, it's the same thing with shoes, but they are fun pets to have. Uh, I'm sure if you train them better than I trained him, especially in terms of biting, they will be even better pets to have. I'm sure if you just take the time to like do everything properly, which I really did not, um, they will be a lot more like domesticated and suitable pets. Him, not so much, but I still love him. And it's really nice when he like decides to actually be nice and like cuddle with me. Every morning, actually, because I don't, he goes to sleep in his carrier in my bedroom. I don't actually put him there. Um, I leave it open, like unzipped, and at night, around like 7 p.m., he'll just crawl in there and go to sleep. Okay, and then in the morning, he'll come back out, but I usually sleep actually over here, like in the loft. You need to stop biting my ear. So in the morning, around 8, 7 or 8, Sometimes I wake up before him, but sometimes he wakes up before me. 
And if he wakes up before me, he'll come running under the blanket and he'll just like chill out and let me pet him for like a good hour or however long until I get up basically. Hey, 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 what do we talk about? Look, this is, this is what happens when they throw a fit. It is not fun to be on the receiving end of their bites when they're throwing a fit. Alternatively, it is not fun for him to be on the receiving end of my bites when I throw a fit. Okay, I've never actually bitten him. Maybe like once. I just wanted to see how it tasted. I'm kidding, I did not do that. He just um, whipped me in the face with his tail. Those actually hurt. They don't do it on purpose, but like, they'll be like jumping around and then their tail will like follow and like hit you in the face. It can hurt a lot sometimes. Also, he's been doing this thing recently where some of y'all might think it's gross that I'm wearing shoes on the carpet, but it's for a very valid reason. Lately, when I've been wearing socks, I don't know why, for some reason, he gets like very intimidated and like territorial. I think he thinks they're like actual other monkeys. And then he will attack them, start making these weird like battle cry noises, and then start biting them. And that's not fun either. So lately I've just been wearing shoes or no socks, but right now I chose shoes. Look at the camera.